Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a reading and comprehension math test. And the reason why I'm calling it reading and comprehension math test is because it's going to have word problems, as most of us call it. So there's going to be that English emphasis, which I like to put in a lot of my videos as well. So I'm going to show you what the questions look like, and then the bonus activity will be for you to complete it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Okay, so for number one here, I just want you to write the letter for the shapes above that are regular polygons. And for number two, write the letter above that are circles. Look at the shapes carefully. Okay, and so number three is just asking you, asking you to put the letters in the correct shape in the Venn diagram below. You will not use all the letters. For number four, it just says to make a pattern. Draw a compound shape by joining the four of the same shapes in the graph given below. Okay, so again, you need to read this carefully and follow what the directions are asking for, for this. All right, and if you don't do it right, it's going to be wrong. Okay, let's check, check out the next one. And number five just says circle which shape has a smaller perimeter to walk around of. Okay, so again, if you read the directions, there's not much for you to do here. Okay, and number six just says, what is the area of the square below? Show your work. Okay, now I did blow up the image here a little bit, so it doesn't look quite like a square to you. It's just because I made it larger, but on the, in the bonus activity, you will see that. Okay, and please make sure you answer it correctly as it says. Okay. And number seven and number eight are also similar as well in what I want you to do, okay? And number nine is basically the same thing, but now we're talking about perimeter, okay? So again, just read the directions and answer it for 10 and 11 as well, all right? So just please read it carefully and demonstrate that reading and comprehension that I'm always talking about. Number 12 is asking you to just round 21,000 508 as follows. So here for letter A, I've got to the nearest 10, B to the nearest 1,000, and C to the nearest 10,000. Again, make sure you're reading this carefully. Number 13 is just asking you to regroup 192 into the number parts in each question. So again, please read and follow the directions. Number 14 says complete the following below. So do what it asks, please, okay? Just complete it as it says here. And 15 is just matching the subtraction to the estimate here. You're just gonna draw a line. Number 16 says, complete. Use a method of your choice to show your work. So again, please read the directions carefully and do what it asks here. Number 17 says, just to complete these, then write two division facts for each one. And like I said, reading and comprehension, make sure you're reading it and make sure you're following the directions. Number 18, what is the number of each letter on the number line below? So again, there's the number line and just do as it asks. 19 says, count on in hundreds from 7,028. Write the first three numbers below. Okay, so again, just read it and do what it says. Number 20, same thing, but a little bit different. And for number 21, it's just asking you to tell me the value of the digits nine in each number. So please just read the directions and follow them. For number 22, it says to write true or false for each regroup part, correct any that are false. Okay, so again, reading and comprehension, make sure you're reading this carefully and doing what it says based on the instructions. Number 23 is just write equals less than, greater than to make each sentence true. And I'm blocking a number, but it'll be clear there on the bonus activity. Number 24 just says circle the warmer temperature for letter A and letter B. And 25 just asks you to round 23,809 as follows. So I won't read these, they're there for you to look at.
Okay, and like I said, I will have an answer key and the bonus activity in the description down below. So that'll do it for today's video. And as always, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video.